everybody, welcome back to the Stylist Panel page. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome. If you've been here before, hey. <laughs> no, I'm Kira Renee, and welcome back. So if you are new to our channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and share this content with anyone who you want to be successful. Anyone who you feel needs to tap into their millionaire mindset, go ahead and tag them in this video. This week we're gonna be talking about is tapping into your millionaire mindset. So what I did was I went and I broke down the things that I've observed from being around my millionaire friends, mentors, people who just do business very well. And I feel like you can learn from this because I learned a lot from these people. And these are my gems of the week. Let's get into it. So the first topic that we're gonna be talking about is your speed and your turnover. So when it comes to business, being able to get things done quick or implementing and getting things, putting things into action very quickly is gonna be the first thing that's gonna allow you to tap into a millionaire mindset. From being around people who make millions of dollars <laughs> and being around people who are just, you know, real big boss people, I will definitely say the one thing that I noticed about all these people is how quickly they get things done. For instance, say if we're like working on a project I have certain higher level friends who we could literally be in a phone discussion and I could be like, okay, we wanna get this done or maybe for your event, you should think about doing this, this and that. I can check my email when the conversation is over and boom, I will have all the information. They literally already went and, and researched and did everything while we were on that phone call. Like, people just get things done, done. Boom, boom, everything should be boom, 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 right? Done. <laughs> the second thing that we're gonna talk about is taking action on your plans even when you're not really sure about if it's gonna go through, if you're gonna fail, whatever. Because the moment that you feed onto your uncertainties and your insecurities about what you're doing, that's when you fail. So if you just take action anyway and you just, you know, do it because at the end of the day, you don't know if you're going to fail, you don't know if you're going to succeed, but the only thing that you will know is nothing if you didn't just try it and, you know, you hesitated, hesitation, oh my God, it's a, it's a, but no, hesitation, let, let it go. Like just take action even when you feel uncertain. Um, I know there's tons of things, like even starting Sailor's Panel, when I first started Sailor's Panel, I had no idea what was going to happen. But you know what, I just did it anyway. I went and bought the venue, put the speakers, just said, you know what, I'm just gonna do it anyway, and I'm just gonna take action. Even though I feel kind of jittery inside, you know what, let me just do it anyway to see what comes of it. Like, because you never know what's gonna come of it if you don't just start. So when you get a thought, even if you feel like, oh, I'm not so sure if I should do this, I don't have the money, or I don't have the resources, you know what, do it anyway, and see what happens. I guarantee you, even if you fail, you won because you tried. So the third thing that we're gonna be talking about or just touching on is valuing your time. Time is so important. Time is so important. Time is so important. Understand how important your time is. Do not allow people, things, um, situations to, to take time away from you. If you need to, you know, I'm not, I can't even say I'm perfect with scheduling and whatever, but if you need to put a schedule, like at 8 a.m. I'm gonna wake up, or 6 a.m., whatever, whatever time you wake up, don't feel pressured to wake up at 5 a.m. because you hear like, you must get up at 5. Everybody's different. There's some people who need full eight hours of sleep. There's some people who need two hours of sleep. Everyone's different. Just get things done. In those 24 hours, make sure you are getting things done. You know, just be very cautious of your time what you need to get done. Do not go to sleep until it is done. Do not go to sleep until it is done. But just get things done. Make sure that when you are valuing your time, you value your me time. Make sure that you're scheduling at least 20 to 30 minutes a day for you in your day. It's gonna allow you to kind of debrief from all the crazy thinking and everything that's going on. So yes, value your time and don't forget about your me time. Okay, so the fourth thing that we're gonna be talking about is consistency. I don't care if you have to stay consistent for 10 years. And consistency to some people, they're like, oh, consistency means every, every day. Even if you take a, a month break or a two month break, or even if you took a year break because you just had to go deal with life, as long as you come back to whatever it is and you stay consistent with it, I guarantee you, it's like, you know, when you're 
planting the, it's like the fruits of the labor. You went and you, you put that seed down. Some trees, some trees take 10 years to grow. Like, you know, so understand as long as you're watering it, you know, sometimes your plants die, but guess what? You can bring a plant back to life. <laughs> so as long as you're staying consistent with what you're doing, you're gonna get there. Don't ever feel like, oh my God, I look to my left and she's doing well. Oh my God, I look to my right, he's doing well. Oh my God, where's my well? Well, guess what? Your well is not full of water yet. Though the rivers have not dripped into your well to fill your bucket up. Like you can be all wet <laughs> and grow. But just know, stay consistent and it will happen for you. So the last thing that we're going to talk about is giving up your willingness to be liked. This is so important. Everyone's not going to like you and they're not going to agree with what you do. And it is okay. That doesn't mean that that's a bad person. That doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It just means that they just don't understand your point of view. And that's okay, they don't have to. Everyone doesn't have to like you. I can guarantee you in business, people have different business styles. People do business differently. You're not gonna get along with everyone. It's okay. Everyone doesn't have to like you. Only thing you need to focus on are those people who do like you and make sure that you're pouring into those people. Because the people who don't like you, it doesn't matter. They're not watching you to be you know, inspired by you or motivated by you. When they're watching you, they're angry. <laughs> So you need to focus on the people who like you and who appreciate what you're doing and do not even pay attention to the people who do not like you. It's okay, it's gonna happen, it comes with who you are and being a strong, powerful person, it just comes with a package. So make sure that you are 100% okay to not be liked. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in to those gems of the week. I hope that you took something from that. If you did, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and share this information with anyone who you would like to be successful in 2018 or just would like to be successful in general, right? <laughs> Again, I'm Kira Renee, and remember, you can do anything that you want in life because Kira said so. Bye, you guys. See you next time. <laughs>